Hello everyone, thank you for joining on my another live stream today. It's the 23rd of October 2020 on Friday. So happy Friday everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. It's raining in Tokyo, I was outside and it was very cold, so um, make sure that you stay self healthy and safe. Uh, the fall season is coming in, uh, in Japan right now, uh, it's getting cold. So, but still expecting some uh, nice, nice uh, fall season with the color trees and everything. So I'm thinking to travel outside of Tokyo again sometime soon to enjoy these, um, you know, color trees. But anyways, I hope you're having a great Friday f today. So today's topic is about uh, trending market. Uh, how you can define the trending market by Ichimoku Kinkohyo. So, every Fridays, I talk about my own strategy called KTS, Case Trading Strategy. So, usually I look at the Kumo and Kijunsen angles to capture the trending markets. So, I will show you how I define the trending markets in a very simple way, but powerful way. So, we can look at some your markets together today. So, before starting here as a disclaimer, all this knowledge is based on my own experience. So, when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So, let's get started now. Alright, and let me briefly say hi to everyone. Uh, Jose, Valentino, Freddy, and Arukari WM, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Oh, Freddy says, uh, I have been seen many hours of Ichimoku video conference done by two of the most important experts in Europe. Every day I'm more convinced that you're the best. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I try to explain things as simple as possible. Uh, but at the same time, the, the teaching should be powerful. And once you master something, then the explanation should be simple but powerful way. If, uh, yeah, when it comes to explaining things, it's another challenge for me. But hopefully, you understand the essence of Ichimoku in my YouTube channel, as I do the lives every day. But thanks for the words. Thank you. And let's see. Um, hold on, let me just uh, scroll down a little bit. Hi, Yuru. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. And uh, Karim. Kulan, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. A big uh, Kumo landed here in Holland. All right. It's a foggy day. Okay. Okay. It's getting cold, I'm sure, in uh, in your place. Yeah, it's getting cold in Tokyo too. It's about like uh, 19 or 18, 18 Celsius. So, getting chilly now. All right. Thanapol and Prashant Hui, thank you for joining. Ivan, David, Femin. And Karin, good to see you. Anthony Tan and Danish, thank you for joining as well. Happy Friday, everyone. New Zealand USD Huawei charge is uptrending. Okay, that's a good information. Let's take a look at that one together. It's always nice to share some trending market in this chat so that we can always take a look at it. When it comes to looking for some trading edges, I only look at these trending markets. And when it's ranging, I basically I stay away. So if you find some trending market right now on your watch list, please type it on the chat so that we can all together look at it, and we might have some trade chances from there, so that we can help out with each other. And Decoin, thank you for joining. And Freddy, hi again, thank you. And Boris and Ale, thank you for joining as well. Happy Friday. Good to see you. Okay, so let me start to look at the pairs on my watch list. So here is Euro USD flat. As soon as you see the markets by Ichimoku five lines, you know that this is flat because Kumo flat, Kijun Sen is flat, Chikou Span touching the candles, and the price is in the Kumo now. So this is a flat range in market. Um, Euro GBP, uh, it's also flat, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. Euro JPY, this is ranging also. Um, GPP USD, it's also ranging. 
and uh, GPP JPY it's also flat Kumo flat Kijun Sen flat Chikou Span touching the candles too so we see ranging markets everywhere recently I think it's due to the Brexit and also the uh, the election in the US so looks like the market has been kind of quiet so far today we might see some trends afterwards but as, as, soon, um, as far as we look at the market right now, it's been flat. Like AUD USD is also flat ranging. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span is getting very close to the candles. So it's flat market. Um, AUD JPY also shows that this is flat ranging. And Euro AUD also, this is retracing backwards. Looks like the price is coming back to Kijun Sen. So that's not the best timing to look for buy chance in this case. And GPP AUD, this is also retracing. Uh, this one looks uptrending, GBP AUD, uh, because we see the price is above the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen Kumo, and Chikou Spam above the candles, and you see the Senko Spam B flat, but A is up and Kijun Sen is up still. So although we see some retracements on the daily chart, my view is to uptrend, so I expect the market to continue to go up this way, in these settings. Unless the Kijun Sen goes flat, this is bullish in my eyes. So looking at the lower time frames, so don't, let me cancel the bar replay. So let me go down to the one hour chart and see what's happening. Alright, in one hour chart, we see this is downtrend, so this is against the major trend direction on the daily chart. We see Sanyaku signal here, um, Tenkan Kijun did cross, Chikou Span break, and also Kumo breakout happened a couple of hours ago, and this looks to be downtrending now. But because the daily chart is still uptrending, I expect the market will go up at some point. So we'll see on that. There is a uh, recent low at this level of a 1.83 level. So the price might be supported and go backwards. But it looks like it's going to take a little bit more hours for the market to reverse. I mean, along with their daily direction. So yeah, it's going to take a little while, I guess. Hi Duke, thank you for joining. And uh, let's see. Uh, Sarvest Varan, thank you for joining. And Maria Ugnet, thank you for joining. To see you. Yep, GBP AUD looks to be uptrending on the daily chart. But in this short term, this is downtrend. Senior, thank you for joining. Luis and Maria, good to see you. Happy Friday, everyone. So, um, let's look at the 4. Okay, in 4 hour chart, um, the price is now between the Kijun Sen and the Kumo. Although we see Kijun Sen up and Kumo up, the price might reach to the Kumo in 4 hour chart. Chikou Span is touching the candles too. So this is not really the uptrend anymore in the 4 hour chart. So. We have to expect some kind of retracement still. There is a uh, the line that I draw here, or um, I can draw another line up here. At this uh, 1.831 level, also in this area, this is like a reversal line, where the previous resistance is now becoming support. So the price might be supported in this area in between uh, 1.831 and 1.830 and it might go up afterwards so we'll see if that's gonna happen um, and also one hour chart is going down so unless we see a potential support confirmations here uh, that which might happen uh, when you see the candlesticks you might see the pin bar like this or you might see um, engulfing breakout. You might see like a engulfing breakout as a typical potential 
like a reversal signals on the candlestick patterns, then you can expect the market will go up afterwards. Um, if you can look at the candlestick right here, this was the another uh, typical engulfing breakout uh, formation. Um, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see that this candlestick right here on this um, bullish candlestick, on this bullish bullish candlesticks high and low, were actually engulfed by the next candlestick, and at the breakout. In this case, it broke downwards, and the price continued to go down this way. So, we can expect the similar type of the engulfing breakout can happen in this area, in between 1.3A1 and 1.3A0. And if it happens, then the price may continue to go up according to the major trend direction on the daily chart. But unless it happens, I would just wait. If it breaks down, if it breaks this uh, support zone downwards, then I will look to sell afterwards. So we'll see. So, I mean, you cannot just buy here, just because this is a support level, you cannot just buy. Like I said before, uh, you need to find at least three confirmations to buy. So engulfing can be one of the confirmations, and you need to find uh, two other confirmations to buy at least. Or um, if you are multiple time frame uh, trader, then I would look at the lower time frames and also capture this uh, reversal signals in 5 or 15 minute chart. Alright, Yasar, nice to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, alright. Um, let's see. Okay, um, Karim says, uh, could you please look at a GBP AUD? Weekly chart because it's trending downwards. The reason of this trending down might be that one. Okay, so let's look at the weekly chart. Okay, so here is a uh, GBP AUD weekly chart, and this is, yeah, this looks to be downtrending now. Because the price is still below the Kijun Sen, and the Kijun Sen itself is pointing down, and also the Senko Span A is downwards. So, this might be the support by the Kijun Sen, and the price can continue to go down this way. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so unless the price breaks the Kijun Sen upwards, this is downtrend to me on the weekly chart. Okay, um, and Homon says uh, GPP USD might go up. Uh, I'll also, you can check. Okay, sure, all right. GPP USD. Um, so hold on, let's check the GPP USD next. Okay, in the daily chart. Okay, GPP USD daily chart shows that this is a uh, range in market. I mean, um, yeah, Kumo flat. I mean, Kumo meaning Nasen Kospan AB both flat, and Kijun Sen is flat right now. So, um, in terms of the equilibrium, this is bullish because the price is simply above the Kumo and Kijun Sen. So the momentum is bullish. We can say that this is a bullish end waves. So we can expect the continuous end waves like this way. But because the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat, the price can come back to Kijun Sen. And this is typical range analysis by Ichimoku. When you see Kumo flat, then uh, the price can come back to Kijun Sen. And also when the when the Kijun Sen itself is flat also the price can come back to Kijun Sen. So basically, I will just wait until Kijun Sen points up to expect the market to go upwards this way. Yeah. Um, let's see, is that a P wave in 4 hour chart? In 4, 
let's say this is um, this is N wave. This is the bullish N wave right now. Well, actually, from here at the P wave breakout, there was a P wave before. I'm sorry, there was a P wave like this way before. But after the P wave breakout, this looks to be uptrending now. So this is one two and the third I wave is about to be happening, looks like. And in this forward chart, the price is above Tenkan Kijun Sen. Oh sorry, the price is above Kijun Sen, the green one Kijun Sen and the Kumo, and Chikou span above the candles. So in this forward chart, this is bullish trend. Yeah, there was a um, Chikou span breakout already. So this looks to be bullish trending right now. So the important thing is that you know you need to you need to identify which market is first of all trending and also which time frame is trending. Then when you find the trending time frame, then you just follow it. So in this case, I compared the daily chart and forward chart. And on the daily, this looks to be more flat, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So the price can come back to Kijun Sen on the daily chart. But as I look at the 4, this is more trending upwards, especially after this uh, P wave breakout. After this P wave breakout, this looks to be the bullish N wave. And also the price is above Kijun Sen and the Kumo Chikospan above the candles. This looks to be bullish to me. And in this case, I take this forward chart and look for buy chance. And I don't look at the daily chart and I don't follow the daily chart direction. Because there is no direction on the daily chart. I can't follow it. And hopefully, you can capture which market is trending or ranging by using simply by looking at the Ichimoku 5 lines. Just the way I do it. And it saves a lot of time for you. I used to take tries, I used to look at the market on multiple indicators like RSI, MACD, and moving average, and you know all these other indicators, and they give us you know different messages, different um, information about the market. So um, you know sometimes they have divergence, sometimes the um, for example, like a moving average might gold crossing, but stochastics might be dead crossing. So there is like a, how do I say, like a battle between the indicators, and sometimes it confused me a lot. And after I start to use Ichimoku fiber lines only, um, you know, I was able to analyze the market more simple way, but more powerful way. Especially which one is trending, ranging, uh, it made me so much easier to identify. So that's why I mainly use Ichimoku in higher time frames now. When it comes to capturing the trading edges, I use different tools and indicators. So basically, I use uh, these these uh, indicators. A uh, price action, I look at it. Candlestick patterns called the Sakata Goho, I use it. And the lines I draw, I look at Bollinger Bands, Stochastics, and Fibonacci uh, retracements. I use this in 5 or 15 minute chart to capture the exact trading edges. But to capture the bigger picture, I only use Ichimoku. And the lines. I, do, I draw the support line, resistance line, and trend lines, but that's about it, on the higher time frames. And it made me so much easier to identify the market. Initially, I thought Ichimoku is too complicated. And I was studying Ichimoku originally back in like seven years ago. Uh, when I was first introduced to the Forex market from my colleague at that time. Uh, when I was working at the IT company. Um, I used to apply Ichimoku... Kinko Hyo, and I was showing that on a chart, but it was very complicated first. So, 
yeah, between seven years ago and five years ago, I wasn't really paying so much attention on the Ichimoku lines, but instead I was using other indicators like moving average and other things. But after I start to use Ichimoku and after I start to be serious on Ichimoku lines, then my the way I analyzed market was so much simplified and I was able to capture the trendy market correctly so that um, I know which market, which time frame I should focus on to ride on that trend direction. So yeah, that's like, uh, that's the thing that I wanted to mention on this YouTube channel. And this is the power of the Ichimoku, I believe. So that's why I mainly talk about Ichimoku and also the way I look at the markets. Of course, I'm from Japan, Tokyo, and that's the reason, that's another reason why I talk about Ichimoku. But if I were not the Japanese who uses Ichimoku, then I will still talk about it. So that's how attached I am to Ichimoku. And luckily, because I'm a Japanese, I have these uh, Ichimoku original books. And I read this uh, you know, every time I do the lives on, on the membership live or uh, whenever I write these books which are available to Ichimoku community members, I always refer to these original books of Ichimoku and study it and make sure that I understand the concept correctly. This book is so deep, right? It's uh, it's very deep. Every time I look, I read through the books, I learn something new. I think I've read it already like 20, 25 times, but still I learn a lot. So that's very interesting book and very, very uh, profound in my opinion. All right, Stavros, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Senior says, how do you feel about NZD USD 4 hour chart? All right, NZD USD 4 hour chart and what is your opinion, Senior? Please type your opinion on the chat so that you can look at it together. Yeah, I can simply answer to these questions, but um, I would like to hear from your opinion too before looking at some new markets. Uh, Maria says, I want to know about your one and one class. Um, I don't offer one on one sessions right now. The, the lesson I have right now is the global trading school called a GTS. So here is the GTS and there will be new opening on, on the global trading school next January 2021. This is the um, only five members lecture where I, where I uh, teach my KT strategy step by step and also money management, risk management strategies, position sizing strategies, and also mental mindset strategies for, for three months. So yeah, if you're interested, you can uh, click on the link below and you can come to my website, click on the services and click on the GTS, Global Training, Str Training School and you can find all the details here. All right, Keyon, thank you for joining. And Jack Smith, Sebastian, thank you for joining from Germany. Good to see you. Okay, Freddy says, uh, GPP USD, look for, you look for or a buy uh, luck without waiting for the Kijun Sen to turn up. Oh, of course, I will wait for the Kijun Sen to turn up, yep. So coming back to this analysis here, in 4-hour chart, I still see that the Kumo is flat and Kijun Sen is flat. So I won't look for buy chance yet. I won't look for buy chance yet. I will wait until Kijun Sen points up and Kumo up to and look at the lower time frames and confirm it and look for the trading edges. Yes. Hi Lord, thank you for joining. And let's say Ivan says, okay, because of the fundamental things in USA and UK, is it better to 
off trade USC and GBP until one week after US election. Thanks before. Um, in my opinion, as long as it's trending, I would still take trace. But I will make sure to put the stop loss. And every time I take trace, I only risk 2% of my whole capital anyways. So as long as it's trending, I just follow it. Sometimes I take trade before the news. And I set the break even and watch the news afterwards. If the market goes towards my direction after the news, then that will be simply like a bonus. So I get more profit. And as a result of the news, if it goes backwards, it just hit the break even line and I don't lose anything. So this is a part of my uh, risk management strategies. But um, you can make sure to put the stop loss and move the stop loss to break even. And if you can do that every time you take trace, then you can still take trace slightly before uh, the election also. The risk management becomes the key right now, obviously. Um, let's see. And Mon says, um, GPPUSD one or chart candlestick is more interesting looking for a buy chance since yesterday. All right. All right. Let's look at the one hour chart now. Okay. In one, it's been flat right now. As I look at the Ichimoku lines, the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen is flat. Chikou span touching the candles. So the price can go up or down and we don't know which way it's going. I would wait until the price comes above the Kumo here in this one hour chart and look for buy. Or well, actually the 4 hour chart should be trending up first. I make sure that the 4 hour chart Kumo up, Kijun Sen up, then I will come back to 1 hour chart. And by then, the price should break in above the Kumo in 1 hour chart too. So I will look for buy chance then afterwards. Hi Seito, thank you for joining. Happy Friday. Happy Friday everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, Stavros says, uh, "Okay, could you ask? Could I ask what you think? What do you think are the advan advantages of stochastics over MACD?" Um, I don't really use MACD. It's just my preference that I use stochastics. So yeah, that's what I just use it. Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm just used to stochastics. I'm not really used to MACD and that's why I, I simply don't use it. Yeah, but if you are, if you know the knowledge about MACD, then you can of course use it, in my opinion. But make sure to look for at least three confirmations every, ta every time you take trace. So if the MACD shows it's bullish or it's buy chance, then look for two other confirmations to take a buy or sell, then it should be fine. And always backtest, right? Always backtest and uh, get the decent stats and get the decent confidence on your strategy. It's also important as a part of the mental management. Uh, okay, Senior says, I like the 4-hour chart uptrend and it just broke a series of highs upwards and there is good space up next ex uh, extreme high. Yeah, yeah, this is bullish. This is bullish. So, again, this is, this. there was a P wave and it broke the P wave upwards. And you know how you can capture the potential breakout. Um, I talked about it uh, yesterday and also about three days ago about how you can capture the potential breakout towards either direction on the P wave. If you look at this area, you can see that the Tenkan Sen was above the Kijun Sen. So in this case, there was a potential break about upwards and it did actually, it happened. And after that, this is becoming a bullish in wave. So I still expect the market continue to go up. Uh, 
Hello, Hans. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Okay, um, Kayun says uh, Euro JPY downtrend today in 4 hour chart. Uh, me by go down, please check. Euro JPY downtrending. Okay. Okay. So let's check that one. Euro JPY as it's my watch list. Okay, so Euro JPY right now, this is to me in 4 hour chart is flat. We can see that the Kumo is flat, price is in the Kumo now, and Chikou Span is almost touching the candles. So it's flat, so that means that the price can go up or down, and we don't know which way it's going. So I would stay away in this kind of market. I would prefer to focus on the GBP AUD that we saw earlier, because this is more towards the uptrend. Or the uh, GBP USD, this is the uptrend. You see, you can see that the price location is above Kijun Sen and the Kumo. But Euro JPY is flat. You can clearly see that the price is in the Kumo now, and this is the market that I will stay away. Does that make sense? And just in case, let's look at the daily chart on Euro JPY. Um, yeah, and the daily chart also shows that the price is in the Kumo now, and the Kumo itself flat. Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen, sorry, um, Senko Span AB completely flat, and Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching them candles. So daily chart shows that it's flat, and four hour chart also shows that this is flat. So this is the market that you should do nothing. Okay, NGDUSD. Alright. Um, let's see, Abdel Salam. Abdel Salam says, um, Hi K, do you have advice to avoid late trend? Um, so when the market was overheated, then most likely it's going to retrace backwards. And I think that's what you mean by the late trend. But um, to avoid the overheated market, uh, you can look at the recent high. So in this case, um, let's see, the price is now going up. If you zoom out the market like this, then um, the price can go up still. And as it reaches all the way to the recent high level, for example here, there is a recent high. So when the price reaches to this recent high, then it can retrace backwards. But until then, the price can be all the way above the Kijun Sen or Tenkan Sen, and it continue to go up this way. And when it happens, we can expect the market can retrace backwards. So that's one way to avoid the avoid taking trades at the highest price. And also, you can you can uh, see the Kumo thickness. Um, this is Ichimoku YouTube, so I will focus on the Ichimoku lines to expect the overheated market. And so when it goes up, when it goes up too sharp, for example here, um, you can see that the Kumo was very thin at that time. And when you think, when you see the Kumo to be very thin like this, this is overheated market. So you can expect the price can retrace backwards. And that's why I say you better avoid taking trades when the Kumo is too thin because that shows that this is overheated market. So that's one way to identify uh, identify which one is overheating or late trend. So better to wait for the Kumo thickness. And when you start to see Kumo thickness, that means that the market is consolidating. 
as the market consolidates, the Kumo gets thicker and thicker. And if it continues to go up, then Kumo will gain its thickness and Senko span AB will both go up continuously. And this is more stable uptrend when you see this Kumo thickness because the market already prepared uh, by the consolidation and the market is sort of like charging the energy and get ready to the next uptrend to this way. And that's what the Kumo thickness shows. But when you, th when you see the Kumo is very thin, most likely the market is like um, in a rush of the uptrend and most likely uh, it's gonna run out of its energy and falls down. It's like a rocket, you know, it's like a rocket. When it shoots up too, too fast or too, how to say, too strong, then it's gonna run out the, the fuel and it goes backwards. So you can, uh, you can tell also, you can tell by these horizontal lines and also you can tell by the Kumo thickness whether the market is overheated or not. And this thin part of the Kumo only applies when it goes up or down. When you see flat Kumo and thin, it doesn't mean that it's overheated. It just means that it's flat. There's no trends. So like here, when you see Kumo flat horizontally, this doesn't mean that this is overheated. This means that this is basic the range in market. But when you see Kumo thin part, when it's up and down, then that's the overheated market. So you can expect the potential retracement at some point. But when if, if the market is stable bullish still, continuously, then Kumo should gain its thickness and the market will continue to go up this way. I hope you get the idea of, um, of the thickness of the Kumo. And that's why I recommend you to uh, look for buy chance at when, when you see the Kumo thickness. Otherwise, it can retrace backwards. It can go against uh, your direction. Okay, so let's see. Khan says, um, can you have a look at Hansen index? It changes to bullish trend. Oh yeah, Hansen was going up. I was looking at the chart earlier. So let's take a look at the Hansen. Oh yeah, this is going up now. So I always look at the daily chart first. So in the daily chart, yeah, the price is going up. But because the price is in the Kumo now, I would stay away. I will just look for buy chance after the Kumo breakout happens, which can happen sometime next week. We see Tenkan Kijun Sen Gold Cross on this candle 6. So this means that this is the end of the bearish trend from the short to mid term. And then we see Chikol Span break as a second confirmation. So I will just wait for the Sanyaku Gyakuten signal as the price breaks, the Senko Span be uppers and look for buy afterwards. And by then, the Kumo should twist to bullish Kumo and make sure that you have the thickness of the Kumo and look for buy afterwards. Yeah, this looks to be a nice reversal. Yeah, but not the best timing to look for buy yet because the price is simply in the Kumo now. All right, Rom, uh, Ramonic and SD, thank you for joining. Kayon, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, Abdel says, uh, thank you, Kay. The next Senko Span B move up will uh, bell when breaking the high, high right. Yes, that's true. NDD USD 4 hour chart and 1 hour chart is going up. Alright, so let's look at the NDD, sorry, NZD USD finally, and we're gonna end the today's live session. So um, let's see. NDD USD. Mm. 
the daily chart. Okay, so in the daily, there is no trend yet. This is still in the range market. Kumo flat and Kijun Sen is flat. Chikou span is touching the candles. So let's look at the lower time frames. Maybe we might see some uptrend in four hour chart or lower time frames. Okay, and in four, we see the uptrend now. Yep, this is a. The price is simply above Tenkan Kijun Kumo, Chikou span above the candles. So this is bullish. And also in terms of direction, the Senko span B up, A up, and Kijun Sen is up. So yeah, this is a nice uptrend. And this is right now on this um, bullish end waves. So it can continu continue to go up this way. But um, let's see if there's any recent high somewhere close. Um, let's see, okay. And we don't see any recent highs. So we can expect the potential target will be up to 0 0.679 area at this rate. Yeah. And I can see that the Kumo is thick enough here. You can see that the Kumo is not really like a thin thread, but we have some sort of, um, you know, Kumo thickness. So, so that means that even if the market retraces backwards, we can expect the continuous uptrend by this Kumo thickness. So that's one thing that is important to look at. Alright, so, so far we found a GPP USD to be uptrending and also this uh, New Zealand USD to be uptrending. So we'll see. Alright, Khan, you're welcome. Ace Fundier, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Happy Friday. Faison, thank you for joining as well from South Korea. Thank you. Good to see you. It's wicked, stable, uptrending, 4 hour chart and 1 hour chart. Yeah, in 4, this is uptrending. And also, finally, let's look at the 1 hour chart. Um, yes, in 1, this is a stable uptrend. So this is the best one so far to look for buy chance in lower time frames. Yeah, Chikou span above the candles. You can see uh, price above Tenkan Kijun and Kumo. And we get the angle of the Kumo pointing up. And also the thickness of the Kumo is favorable. So this is a stable uptrend to me. So even if we see some retracement, the price can continue to go up this way that we can expect. And, and also, make sure that um, this is not a part of the uh, Ichimoku, but make sure that if there is any related news to New Zealand or USD today or tomorrow or next Monday, so just quickly looking at the news calendar. Uh, today is on the 23rd. And let's see, let me refresh the page. Let's just look at it all together. Okay, and we don't find any US news today. We have a couple of minor news, but I don't think they're going to affect the market. So, um, yeah. So that means, you know, it's it's uh, it's relatively safer to take trades on this pair. All right. That that was a good review to uh, to talk about this New Zealand USD finally as we finally see this stable uptrend market. Okay, so I guess I will be ending the live in about 5 minutes now. Oh, one thing that I just noticed is that the um, my my uh, follower, the number of follower on my YouTube has been almost reaching to uh, 20k. So, yeah, you can see that um, there is a very it's almost almost reaching to this number. So um, it's a nice announcement. When it reaches 20k. 
then I'm thinking to do a very long live stream. So uh, yeah, once again, thank you, uh, thank you so much for your support as always. I really appreciate your uh, support continuously, and I really appreciate your manner in this uh, in this uh, YouTube lives. Every day, I do the lives, but uh, your behavior, the way you ask the questions and comments are very nice. So I really appreciate. So I hope you uh, keep learning uh, the essence of Ichimoku, and also the essence of my way of taking trades strategies from my channel so that you can be a non-losing trader over time. So lastly tomorrow let me uh, let me do a recap on tomorrow's topic. So tomorrow uh, that will be a uh, open Q&A session. So every Saturdays I talk about um, psychology money management and tomorrow it's going to be open Q&A session. So if you have any questions, then uh, please join and just type these questions on the chat so that I will try to answer these questions as much as possible. So, all right. Thank you for joining everyone. Um, I hope you have a great, great Friday and the weekend. And please uh, stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Thank you.